What's up guys, my name's Wizloom, and today I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to defeat Zoe and Grizzbolt, the first boss in Power World. But not only am I going to be showing you how to defeat the boss, I'm going to make sure that you take home the dub your first time. And honestly, you're probably not even going to have to move your character all that much. But I want to be fully transparent here. I'm currently playing on version 1.20, and there's a possibility that this might have been patched out by the time that you're seeing this. So keep that in mind while you're watching this. But without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm not going to lie, the first time that I tried this boss, it was pretty hard. But if you use the method that I'm about to show you, you're gonna steamroll this thing. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is hit up your pal box. Now, using this method, any pal will technically work. However, you're gonna wanna pick a pal that has a decent amount of damage output or an attack that's pretty spammy because this boss has a 10 minute time restriction. And if you pick a pal that's weak, you might run out of time. That being said, I'm gonna give you guys two options that you can use to defeat this boss using this method. And the first pal that we're gonna be looking at is Dinosum. This Pokemon, oops, did I say Pokemon? I meant this pal, has super high attack and it's a dragon and grass type. But I understand that that this one's pretty hard to fight when you start the game. So I'm gonna show you an even better option that you can catch from the very first place that you spawn when you start your new world. That's right, we're gonna be using Kativa. In my playthrough on this world, Kativa was the third pal that I encountered. And it was my first pal that I didn't force into indentured servitude. Now this Kativa in particular is level 14, but the first time that I tried this method, he was only level nine. The reason why this pal works so good in this fight is because of the punch fury attack. I should also note that ground-based pal attacks are super effective against Grizzbolt. So Kativa's sandblast attack is definitely going to come in clutch. So grab your Kativa, make sure to feed your pals, and make sure to repair your equipment because we're going to go fight the boss. Now, depending on where you spawn when you started your first world, the location of this boss might be different for you depending on where your first base was. But in the context of this video and my world, the first boss is Grizzbolt, and his location was just northeast of my original spawn point. So you're going to want to look for the Rain Syndicate Tower Entrance spawn point and head that way. Once you hit the spawn, you're going to want to climb the steps and make your way to the tower entrance. We're going to let this cutscene ride out, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Now, as soon as you spawn in, instead of taking this guy head on, we're gonna wanna head to one of these pillars so we can cut some cheese. And just like magic, Zoe and Grizzbolt have kinda seemed to have lost the will to fight. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty scuffed and it might be patched in a future update, but it's working for me now, so let's test out our pals. And we're gonna start with Denossum. He is hitting pretty hard for big numbers, but we're gonna wanna speed this process up, you know what I'm saying? So we switched out to Kativa. Now we just pretty much sit back and wait until he kills the thing. And I do mean kill because after the battle, he kinda looks like he's dead. But yeah, that's how you defeat the Rain Syndicate Tower, super easy. I'm pretty sure Zoe and Grizzle were much stronger opponents, but sometimes you just gotta cut the cheese and scuff the boss. So far, I'm having a great time playing this game. And I know Power World has been under scrutiny, and I'm pretty sure PETA is developing a case to attack this company as we speak. But to me, it's been a pretty fun experience so far. I hate to say it's just American Pokemon with guns, but it kinda is. In all honesty, there's a lot of aspects from this game that I do like. If I could compare it to anything, I would have to say it's more like a mashup of multiple different games. When you're exploring, it definitely feels like Zelda Breath of the Wild. And when you're crafting, it feels like Terraria or Ark. And obviously the monster battling and collecting aspect of the game was lifted from Pokemon. And the boss fights kind of feel like Monster Hunter a bit, but I doubt I could cheese the Rathalos like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. I'm Wizloom, and I'll catch you next time.